see what they're doing? You see what they're doing? The NYPD arrested Heshi Tischler outside his Borough Park, Brooklyn home Sunday night. His objections over timing. Charged with incitement to riot and false imprisonment, he had told police he'd turn himself in Monday. He had an agreement to go in on Monday at 10 a.m. Uh, the agreement was broken by the cops when they came to his house right after the Jewish holiday finish, and they uh, they threw him in cuffs and just uh, and booked him. Uh, and that wasn't the agreement that uh, that he made. His supporters rallied outside the 66th police precinct station house later Sunday night. Cops cordoned off that area and blocked the entrance to this apartment building. Hundreds of demonstrators showed up outside the home of journalist Jacob Kornblue, the victim of the attack last Wednesday night. Police say Tischler instigated. Police ended up guarding the apartment house for Kornblue's protection. The journalist says he was pushed, punched, and kicked at one of the demonstrations against Governor Cuomo's new restrictions in COVID hotspots like Borough Park that limit gatherings in synagogues and churches and close non-essential businesses. Kornblue is the national political reporter for JewishInsider.com and came under fire for writing about the coronavirus. Tischler was sentenced seven years ago to a year and a day in prison for his role in an immigration fraud scheme. Tischler and other demonstrators, many of them supporters of President Trump, believe COVID-19 is not as serious as New York State thinks it is, and they argue the increase in positive tests in Borough Park is unfounded. Immediately before the attack, Tischler pinned corn blue against a wall calling him a moiser, a Hebrew word for informant, and in some interpretations of Jewish law, someone you have license to kill. Asked the next day if he bore any responsibility for this, Tischler only said Cornblue was not touched. Tischler, who's also a city council candidate, could face up to four years in prison for each charge if he's convicted. From outside of Brooklyn Criminal Court, Michael Hertzenberg, New York One News.